Hi there. My name is Sean Carroll. I'm a theoretical physicist at the California Institute of Technology. And it's my great pleasure to join you this month for TCM's Friday Night Spotlight on Science in the Movies. We'll cover a wide variety of films, touching on physics, chemistry, rocket science, great inventors, and even a few mad scientists. Tonight we're focusing on Nobel Prize winners. Since 1901, the Nobel Prize has been awarded for cultural and scientific advancements, and our first movie is about the very first female winner of the Nobel Prize, Marie Curie. The film is Madame Curie, released by MGM in 1943 and starring Greer Garson in the title role. Madame Curie tells the story of how Marie and her husband and partner, Pierre Curie, made the world-changing discovery of the element radium which revolutionized our understanding of the atom and of the scientific study of radioactivity. This whole new dimension of experimentation and innovation has affected many aspects of our everyday lives, from cancer treatments to nuclear energy. A biographical motion picture of Madame Curie had been in development in Hollywood for several years, first at Universal Studios, then eventually at MGM, where originally it was earmarked for their star Greta Garbo, but nothing ever materialized until Greer Garson and Walter Pidgeon created a potent chemistry of their own in two other MGM films, Blossoms in the Dust and Mrs. Miniver. MGM thought Garson and Pidgeon would be perfect for Madame Curie and went about making a first-class production that was as, as historically accurate as possible. They even hired Dr. Rudolf Langer, a physicist from my home base of Caltech, to act as a technical advisor for the movie. This is a film that really captures what science is all about. The act of confronting a problem, of formulating solutions through due diligence, hard work, and many hours of deep, immersive thought. From 1943, here are Greer Garson and Walter Pidgeon in MGM's handsome production of Madame Curie. One of the big challenges for director Mervyn Leroy was how to make the discovery of radium entertaining to audiences of 1943 while also adhering to the facts. Leroy walked this fine line by making the Curie's personal lives an integral part of what was going on in the laboratory and presenting the science in a way that was easy to follow. In his 1974 autobiography, Leroy said of the scientific material, I didn't let a scene go by unless I understood it myself. Of course, Leroy was helped immeasurably in the almost effortless on-screen chemistry between Greer Garson and Walter Pidgeon. The pair made a total of eight pictures together. Coming up next, it's an Oscar-winning film from 2001, with Russell Crowe as Nobel Prize-winning mathematician John Nash. Tonight on TCM's Friday Night Spotlight, Russell Crowe's genius tears his brain apart in a beautiful mind. Then NASA puts its neck on the line for all mankind. And haste may make waste of James Caan in Countdown. 